For the following exercise, determine whether the relation represents y as a function of x. All right, so in order to do a problem like this, we wanna follow these three steps listed down here at the bottom left. All right, the first thing in, uh, to do here with this equation is to first solve it for y. All right, we can't really tell, uh, maybe we can, but I mean, it'd be best if we were to solve this thing for y, and then we can kind of clearly see what might be going on. Especially, it makes it easy to then plug it into a calculator to help us uh, graph the function. All right, so the first step here is then to solve for y. So here I have the equation 2x times y is equal to 1. So if I want to solve for y, right, I can just divide out the 2x from both sides. And that leaves me now with y is equal to 1 over 2x. So now I have completed the first step. I have solved this thing for y. The next step will now be to create the graph. Now in creating the graph, you can simply plug it into the calculator if you like. And what the graph will look like, it'll look something like this, okay? It'll look something, you know, something like this. This is approximate, all right? But it's going to look like this. Now, we know also that x cannot be 0 here, right? So because if it, x is 0, this whole denominator becomes 0, and 1 divided by 0 is who the heck knows? Nobody knows. It's undefined. So uh, that being the case, I know that there's an asymptote right down the y-axis here, okay, in which case this vertical line will not intersect the graph at all. Now, this is not really part of the vertical line test, okay, right? but just know that this, that these two graphs will never, you know, obtain this value of zero, of x being zero, okay? So now, after we understand that, the third step now is going to be to actually conduct that vertical line test, all right? So here, I'm just going to recreate the graph. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a series of vertical lines. And I'm going to look to see how many times that vertical line intersects the red graph. So it intersects at only one spot there. Then I'll test it over here. Only one spot, right? Only one spot there. Then I'll test it over here. And I'll keep going. And I realize that no matter where I draw this vertical line, it will not intersect the graph more than once. And down here on the bottom, we have... And where it says, the vertical line test says that if a vertical line does not intersect the graph more than once, then it is a function. So this test proves that it is a function, all right? And for this specific equation that was given, it is indeed a function. So guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Please remember to subscribe. I'll see you in the next question. Take care.